everyone in the previous video we have discussed about the layers of the earth the earth crust the mantle and the core so in this video we are going to learn about tectonic plates and plate tectonics what are these tectonic plates and also plate tectonics in singular tectonic plates mean bhutati plate tectonics mean bhutati chalane so here first of all we have to know what are these tectonic plates have you heard about these tectonic plates okay what is this this is our earth this is our earth you can see some land areas and there are sea areas uh, in the black color i have mentioned the land areas so you can see the red color parts what are these what are these things so this is the outer surface surface of the earth we call it earth crust so this earth crust is divided into sections these are the sections i have mentioned these sections in red color you can see these sections there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 nearly 6 uh, sections here there are more you can see here nearly 6 sections we call these sections as tectonic plates so earth crust is divided into sections we call these sections as tectonic plates bhutati so when we take one section we call one tectonic plate bhutatiya this russia this india and yet india we can see we are here sri lanka this australia arabians or oh, this is arabians and this is africa and there are america south america and north america uh this is one plate this large plate so we are we are in the indian plate so sri lanka is situated in the indian plate and this is arabian plate this is australian plate this is african plate and here is a north american plate and south american plate so now you know what are the tectonic plates so these tectonic plates are moving we cannot feel this movement like the earth revolution what is revolution the earth revolution mean prithvi parigramane we cannot feel it likewise we cannot feel these movements but they are moving relatively each other very slowly they are moving so you can see uh, the margins of tectonic plates mostly we can see the margins of tectonic plates in the sea area here you can see mostly in the sea area so it is somewhat difficult to identify uh, these margins in the sea area but in the land area there are some of the margins in the land area so uh, the margins in land area we can identify easily so here you can see this margin what is indian plate in between indian plate and eurasian plate there is a margin so this is that margin so here you can see this margin here this is india and china uh, bangladesh bhutan here Kathmandu and Kra. So in this margins, I told you first they are moving because of the movements. Mostly in the margins we can see the earthquakes. Mostly earthquakes are happening in these margins. So here in your textbook they have mentioned. Uh, look at page number hundred and nine and hundred and ten. There was a strong earthquake on twenty fifth April two thousand fifteen. Here, Kathmandu, Nepal, there was a strong earthquake. Most of the people were injured and thousand people were left 
formulas. So this earthquake occurred in, on the Eurasian and Indian plate margins. This is Eurasian plate and this is Indian plate here. That one. This is Eurasian plate and this is Indian plate. So we call this margin as Eurasian and Indian plate margin. In 1905 and 1934 also they have recorded the earthquakes are occurred in these margin. So now you can understand that the most of the earthquakes are occurred in the this plate margin. So here you can see the Mount Everest. You know there are a lot of mountains. The Everest is Mount Everest. It is the highest mountain in our world. So here most of the mountains are occurred because of this movement of plates. Most of the uh, mountains are occurred in the margins of tectonic plates. So here the Mount Everest. Because when moving these plates, mountains are occurred. There are two lands. So two lands are moved each other. What will happen? The mountains are occurred. Land will go up. So mountains are occurred. I told you first, the plates are, the tectonic plates are moving. So, there are some ways of moving. There are three ways of movements in tectonic plates. Uh, we will see one by one. First one. You can see in first one, uh, think these are the two plates. So, here, these two plates move apart. Move apart, the better down. Move apart, then deep gulf could occur. Because of this movement, deep gulf, agadea, deep gulf could occur because of this move, this movement. Second one, here. These are the two plates. So this plate moves upward. The one plate moves upward by pressing down. The other. So this plate moves upward by pressing another one. This one. By pressing this one. So what will happen? Earthquake could occur. Because of this movement, earth, earthquake can be occurred. Then third picture. These are the two plates. Two plates slide past each other. So this plate goes this side. This plate goes this side. Likewise. So, what will happen? Earthquake could occur. So, in these, these two movements, earthquakes could occur. So, here, the gulf could occur. So, these are the three ways of movements in tectonic plates. So, here, page number 111. Turn to page number 111. You can see this picture. So, this is plate margin located in North America. This is a plate margin. It is known as San Andreas Fault. This is called San Andreas Fault, this margin. So, it is visible in an aerial view as fracture of 1000 kilometers. The length of this margin is 1000 kilometers. So, this plate margin is occurred in North American plate and Pacific American plate. Uh, between these two plates, this margin is occurred. So these two plates slide past each other for about 2.5 cm per year. For one year, 2.5 small length. So in this area, we can see mostly earthquakes. Earthquakes occur frequently in this Area. What is the area uh, in between North American plate and Pacific plate? I think you have remembered these things. This is upper mantle. This is upper mantle and this is lower mantle. So lower mantle is near to the core. There are molten rocks in lower mantle. Molten rocks. Molten rocks mean a liquid. Molten rocks 
Ravamaya Kashana, the liquid in this area. So, these rocks are moving because they are liquids. They are moving because of the movements, the tectonic plates are moving. So, why the tectonic plates moving? So, tectonic plates are on the lower mantle. So, there are a molten rocks on the lower mantle. That's why these plates are moving. So, tectonic plates are float on the molten rocks. Float me harder. Uh, now, the lesson is over. Read again these things. So, in this lesson, you have learned solar system. And what are the planets? They are movements. What's inner part of the earth? It is consists of three layers, core, mantle and the crust. And about these tectonic plates and plate tectonics. So both volcanoes are and earthquakes are occurred in these margins, tectonic plate margins. I think you have remembered in 2004, Tsunami is severe destruction. So it is occurred because of earthquake occurred near to Sumatra Island. This is this also happened because of this movement of tectonic plates. Okay, now you can do the exercise in page number 113. So we can uh, meet again. New lesson. Okay, bye.